nestled at the base of the ancient Arbuckle Mountains is a place long recognized for its special charms and significance. The ancient people called it the peaceful valley of rippling waters. Life flourishes here. The springs, streams and lakes are home to a wide variety of plant and animal life. The springs have long attracted people to this area. Prehistoric Indians and later tribes such as the Caddo, Wichita, Comanche, and Pawnee are known to have camped here. The Chickasaw and Choctaw people had a strong and vibrant culture in the southeast. In the 1830s, they, along with the other so-called civilized tribes, were forcibly removed from their traditional lands and relocated to areas in Indian territory. The Indian nations established strong communities in the new land, and the mineral and freshwater springs were cherished as important medicinal resources. All too quickly, pioneer settlement encroached upon the Chickasaw lands, and by the beginning of the 1900s, the town of Sulphur blossomed into a thriving community. Springs reached its height around the early 1900s. Hotels and spas prospered. They catered to a clientele seeking the healing properties that the waters were believed to possess. Physicians even wrote prescriptions for treatment with mineral water. Each spring has unique mineral properties. The mineral composition of bromide and pavilion springs is different from the other springs, including the Vindome Well. These variations are based on the amount and types of minerals that are dissolved in the water as it travels upward through the rocks beneath each spring. The mineral water in the springs actually begins as rainwater. As the rain falls, gravity draws the water downward through many layers of porous rock until it reaches a layer that does not allow it to penetrate further. This groundwater is under a great deal of pressure which is released when water finds an opening to the Earth's surface, forming the spring. In order to protect these springs from irreparable damage caused by the construction of the hotels and spas near the springs, the Chickasaw Nation sold 640 acres to the United States federal government in 1902. Originally called Sulphur Springs Reservation, the area was later enlarged slightly and designated Platte National Park in 1906, making it one of the oldest national park sites in the country. In 1976, the park was combined with the Arbuckle Recreation Area and some additional land, and renamed Chickasaw National Recreation Area in honor of the Chickasaw Nation and their efforts to preserve the springs for future generations. The waters are the obvious part of the Chickasaw story, but for those observant enough, a more hidden and subtle tale is there for the telling. Bison can be seen at the Buffalo Overlook, a small reminder of the vast herds that once populated the Great Plains. Chickasaw National Recreation Area is a place where the mixed grass prairie of the Midwest gradually gives way to the hardwood forests of the east. The blending of two different plant communities is called an ecotone, 
and it creates a landscape abundant in the diversity of plants and animals found here. The mingling of cacti, grass, and trees is an example of Chickasaw's unique ecotone. A visit to the Travertine Nature Center offers the opportunity to learn more about the hidden secrets of Chickasaw National Recreation Area. Thousands of visitors each year journey to this place to learn more about the treasures of this Oklahoma oasis. Every day they bring bottles and jugs to capture the curing powers of these mineral waters. It is a place to escape the daily grind and relax by the glistening water.